Hello. I'm starting my day desperate for a cup of tea, not being able to have one. You see, I'm on my way to crew to go pick up the car for my friend Jonathan. And I don't want to take any chances in not getting there back in time for picking my children up from school. There should be absolutely no problem whatsoever, but I, I just don't like ever being late. So I prefer to be thirsty. I'm going to pick up Project Money. Oh, I've got my indicator. Um, I have it now. It's a car for Mr. Jonathan Gillibrand. He's the chap who let me have a test drive in his MGTF, turned up the cake, and made me a cup of tea while I was out. Fabulously generous chap. So uh, I'm looking forward to dropping this off for him. So far, no traffic issues. But I have gone and forgotten my pen. And Jonathan asked me quite a few times if I'd sign the back of the car with the signature Project Ronnie. And uh, happy to do so. And he said to me, Don't forget the pen. Don't forget the pen. About three times he said it. And I forgot the pen. I spoke too soon. I know it's a small car, but I wasn't expecting to take up so little room on the back of the truck. Look how narrow it is. It's fantastic. Project Ronnie. I'm not driving a Mini Metro. I'm not driving a Mini Metro. I'm not driving a Mini Metro. I'll just keep saying it. Uh, yeah, well. Been as I had a Rover 800 on here the other day, and now I've got a Rover 100. How can I refuse saying that? And what made difference, of course, is that this is a, uh, a running car. Started up, started really nicely, engine sounds sweet, and uh, it's got no MLT on it, it needs a bit of welding by the looks of it, but uh, I imagine it's going to make Jake a very nice little car. When I put a car on the back of the truck, I can feel the, the, the bed of it being pushed down and it changes the way the truck drives. With this, it feels like there's nothing on the back. And I had to keep 
turn it around to make sure it's still there. I wish more cars were like this. Cars that fit on with gap at the front and a big gap at the back and plenty of space either side. With this on the back, it just feels like a leisurely day out. Quite enjoying myself. If only I wasn't so hungry and thirsty, I'd be smiling right now as well. This is brilliant. I've been to crew and picked up a Rover 100 and brought back the sunshine with me. Look at it, it's fabulous. Look at this for an interior. That's a 90s throwback. It's like opening up Alan Partridge's wallet. Project Ronnie dropped off with happy new owner. And again, as I pulled up, Jonathan walks along with a cup of tea for me and another piece of cake. So it is nice when people know the kind of thing I like. Right, I'm back. I have had another cup of tea and a pie and some cake. And now I'm ready to do some proper work. I've got at least an hour to continue the job of Project Larry, not Larry, Timothy, Project Timothy's engine removal. Come on. I just got so involved then in the um, engine removal process that uh, I left my cup of tea to go cold. Sometimes that's a good thing. Not necessarily always though. I was having to think about beer. Now I like uh, the expensive kind of craft beers, but you know, maybe I like some of the cheaper ones as well, if I tried them. I've not had any for them. But in Tesco, they do, I think it's four cans of bitter for about one pound two. And that just sounds like it couldn't possibly be any good whatsoever. But is it worthwhile spending that one pound two just to satisfy my curiosity? I mean, it might be one of those things where, for some reason, I just really like it. Like some people like budget sausages and spam and stuff from Iceland. I miss some of the old beers. I remember one called Cult 45. I never bought it myself, but my dad had a few cans of it. I remember quite liking that. And then there was Ruddles County. That was like the first proper beer I'd ever drunk. And then over the years, it seemed to change once it got took over by that very St. Edmunds beer company, Bottle Gold. And then it just wasn't good any longer. And suddenly you can't buy it. Maybe that's what happens. You start making things cheap. It's coming. Well, I'm hoping that uh, this will be popped out any minute. Pull the drive shaft out of there. So the gearbox oil has gone into that pot without any spillages, which is always a good thing. And. Yes. Unfortunately, that is another cold cup of tea, but I don't really mind because of the KV6 engine now out and stored away, ready to be stripped down or sold complete. I think I can safely say that I have had a worthwhile day today. And tonight, as I edit this video, I shall be consuming a beer. And then once I've finished editing that video, I will be consuming another beer while I upload it. And once it's uploaded, I shall consume another beer. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Oh yes, for sure. Good night. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.